Pentangle are a British folk jazz band with an eclectic mix of folk, jazz, blues and folk rock influences. The original band were active in the late 1960s and early 1970s, and a later version has been active since the early 1980s. The original lineup, which was unchanged throughout the band's first incarnation, was Jackie McShee, vocals. John Renburn, vocals and guitar. Bert Jansch, vocals and guitar. Danny Thompson, double bass. And Terry Cox, drums. The name Pentangle was chosen to represent the five members of the band, and is also the device on Sir Gawain's shield in the Middle English poem Sir Gawain and the Green Knight which held a fascination for Renburn. In 2007, the original members of the band were reunited to receive a Lifetime Achievement Award at the BBC Radio 2 Folk Awards and to record a short concert that was broadcast on BBC Radio. In June 2008, the band, comprising all five original members, embarked on a 12-date UK tour. History equals Formation equals, the original group formed in 1967. Renburn and Junch were already popular musicians on the British folk scene, with several solo albums each and a duet LP, Bert and John. Their use of complex interdependent guitar parts, referred to as folk baroque, had become a distinctive characteristic of their music. They also shared a house in St. John's Wood, London. Jackie McShee had begun as an floor singer in several of the London folk clubs, and then, by 1965, ran a folk club at the Red Lion in Sutton, Surrey, establishing a friendship with Junch and Renburn when they played there. She sang on Renburn's Another Monday album and performed with him as a duo, debuting at Les Cousins Club in August 1966. Thompson and Cox were well known as jazz musicians and had played together in Alexis Corner's band. By 1966, they were both part of Duffy Power's nucleus. Thompson was well known to Renburn through appearances at Les Cousins and working with him on a project for television. In 1967, the Scottish entrepreneur Bruce Dunnett, who had recently organised a tour for Janch, set up a Sunday night club for him and Renburn at the Horseshoe Hotel in Tottenham Court Road. McShee began to join them as a vocalist and, by March of that year, Thompson and Cox were being billed as part of the band. Renburn claims to be the catalyst that brought the band together but credits Junch with the idea to get the band to play in a regular place, to knock it into shape. Although nominally a folk group, the members shared Catholic tastes and influences. McShee had a grounding in traditional music, Cox and Thompson a love of jazz, Renburn a growing interest in early music, and Junch a taste for blues and contemporaries such as Bob Dylan. Equals commercial success equals. The first public concert by Pentangle was a sellout performance at the Royal Festival Hall, on May 27, 1967. Later that year, they undertook a short tour of Denmark a Euro in which they were disastrously billed as a rock and roll band a Euro, and a short UK tour, organized by Nathan Joseph of Transatlantic Records. By this stage, their association with Bruce Dunnett had ended and, early in 1968, they acquired Joe Lustig as a manager. With his influence, they graduated from clubs to concert halls and from then on, as Colin Harper puts it, the ramshackle, happy-go-lucky progress of the Pentangle was going to be a streamlined machine of purpose and efficiency. Pentangle signed up with Transatlantic Records and their eponymous debut LP was released in May 1968. This all-acoustic album was produced by Shel Tami, who has claimed to have employed an innovative approach to recording acoustic guitars to deliver a very bright bell-like sound. On June 29 of that year they performed at London's Royal Festival Hall. Recordings from that concert formed part of their second album, Sweet Child, a double LP comprising live and studio recordings. Basket of Light, which followed in mid-1969, was their greatest commercial success, thanks to a surprise hit single, Light Flight, which became popular through its use as theme music for a TV drama series Take Three Girls for which the band also provided incidental music. The album went all the way to number five in the charts. By 1970, they were at the peak of their popularity, recording a soundtrack for the film Tam Lin, making at least 12 television appearances, and undertaking tours of the UK and America. However, their fourth album, 
Cruel Sister, released in October 1970, was a commercial disaster. This was an album of traditional songs that included a 20-minute long version of Jack Orion, a song that Jinch and Ren Byrne had recorded previously as a duo. It failed to go higher than number 51 in the charts. Equals decline equals, the band returned to a mix of traditional and original material on Reflection, recorded in March 1971. This was received without enthusiasm by the music press. By this time, the strains of touring and of working together as a band were readily apparent. Bill Leader, who produced the album, said it seems to me, in retrospect, that each day a different member of the group had decided that this was it, sod this for a game of soldiers, I'm leaving the group. Pentangle withdrew from Transatlantic, in a bitter dispute with Joseph regarding royalties. Transatlantic had apparently concluded that they were within their contractual rights to withhold royalty payments from the Pentangle albums. Joseph pointed out that his company had covered all the costs, such as recording costs, entailed in making the albums. Joe Lustig, their manager, who had agreed to the Transatlantic contract, made it clear that their contract with him included a clause that they could not sue him for anything under any circumstances. In order to make some money out of the work they were doing, Pentangle established their own music publishing company, Swiggeroo Music, in 1971. The final album of the original lineup was Solomon's Seal, released by Warner Brothers Reprise in 1972. Its release was accompanied by a UK tour, in which Pentangle were supported by Wise Jones and Clive Palmer's band COB. The last few dates of the tour had to be cancelled owing to Thompson becoming ill. On New Year's Day, 1973, Jinch decided to leave the band. Pentangle Split was the front page headline of the first issue of Melody Maker of the Year. Equals subsequent incarnations equals, in the early 1980s, a reunion of the band was planned. By this time, Jinch and Ren Byrne had re established their solo careers, McShee had a young family. Thompson was mainly doing session work, and Cox was running a restaurant in Menorca. The reformed Pentangle debuted at the 1982 Cambridge Folk Festival, but without a drummer, as Cox had broken his leg in a road accident. They completed a tour of Italy, Australia and some venues in Germany, with Cox initially playing in a wheelchair. Renburn left the band to pursue a long-term ambition of studying classical music, taking up a place at Dartington College of Arts. There then followed a series of replacement personnel. Mike Piggott replaced Ren Byrne in 1982, and subsequently Nigel Portman Smith replaced Thompson and Jerry Conway replaced Cox, leaving McShee and Junch as the only remaining members from the original lineup. In 1989, Rod Clements of Lindy's Farm fame replaced Piggott before he left, and Peter Kirtley assumed the role of guitarist in the following year. The incarnation consisting of Junch, McShee, Portman Smith, Kirtley and Conway survived almost as long as the original Pentangle and recorded three albums, Think of Tomorrow, One More Road and Live 1994. This lineup completed their final door in March a Euro April 1995, after which Junch left to pursue his solo work, particularly his residency at the 12 Bar Club in London's Denmark Street. Equals Jackie McShee's Pentangle equals, in 1995, McShee formed a trio with Conway on percussion and Spencer Cousins on keyboards. The trio's first album, About Time, featured guests Ralph McTell, Albert Lee, Mike Mignieri, and John Martin. The album reached the top of F. Roots magazine's British folk chart. The album was released on their own label a Euro GJS. With the addition of saxophonist Jerry Underwood and bassist guitarist Alan Thompson, the band was renamed Jackie McShee's Pentangle. The new five-piece band's first album Passe Avant was released on the Park Records label. In 2005, they released Fiofi's Lands, on GJS. The new lineup played regularly on the live circuit. Their concert at Chipping Norton, Oxfordshire, was recorded and released by Park Records under the title at the Little Theatre. In August 2002, Saxophonist Jerry Underwood died after an illness. His place was taken by flautist saxophonist Gary Foote in 2004. Jackie McShee's Pentangle was still touring regularly in 2006. Equals continued interest in the original band equals, 
whilst the new Pentangle incarnations and personnel changes took the band in various musical directions, interest in the original Pentangle lineup continued, with at least a dozen compilation albums being released between 1972 and 2001. In 2004, the 1968 Euro 1972 Lost Broadcasts album was released. Joe Lustig's influence had secured numerous radio appearances for the band a Euro at least 11 broadcasts by the BBC in 1968, for example. The album was a two-CD compilation of recordings from these sessions. It includes a recording of the name of the game, which had been used by the BBC as a theme song for some of the Pentangle broadcasts, but had never appeared on record. In 2007 the time has come 1967 a Euro 1973 was issued. It is a full CD collection of rarities, outtakes and live performances. The liner notes were by Colin Harper and Pete Paffids. The original band formally reformed in 2008. They appeared on the BBC TV music programme later. With Jules Holland on April 29, 2008, with Let No Man Steal Your Time, and on May 2, 2008, performing Light Flight, and I've Got a Feeling. They went on to undertake a UK tour, including a return to the Royal Festival Hall, where they recorded the Sweet Child album 40 years earlier. They went on to headline at the Green Man Festival in August 2008. In 2011 the original Pentangle played some limited concerts. There were delays in playing again due to Junch's throat cancer. The band were to release a live album of their 2008 tour, and recorded new material in 2011. Bert Junch died of cancer on October 5, 2011, aged 67. John Renburn was found dead at his home on March 26, 2015, after a suspected heart attack. Style, Pentangle are often characterized as a folk rock band. Danny Thompson preferred to describe the group as a folk jazz band. John Renburn also rejected the folk rock categorization, saying, One of the worst things you can do to a folk song is infect a rock beat on it. Most of the old songs that I have heard have their own internal rhythm. When we worked on those in the group, Terry Cox worked out his percussion patterns to match the patterns in the songs exactly. In that respect he was the opposite of a folk rock drummer. This approach to songs led to the use of unusual time signatures, Market's song from Sweet Child moves from 7-4 to 11-4 and 4-4 time, and Light Flight from Basket of Light includes sections in May 8, 7-8 and 6-4. Writing in the Times, Henry Rayner struggled to characterize their music, it is not a pop group, not a folk group and not a jazz group, but what it attempts is music which is a synthesis of all these and other styles as well as interesting experiments in each of them individually. Even Pentangle's earliest work is characterized by that synthesis of styles. Songs such as Bruton Town, and Let No Man Steal Your Time from 1968's The Pentangle include elements of folk jazz, blues, and early music. Pete Townshend described their sound as fresh and innovative. By the release of their fourth album, Cruel Sister, in 1970, Pentangle had moved closer to traditional folk music and begun using electric guitars. By this time, folk music had itself moved towards rock and the use of electrified instruments, so Cruel Sister invited comparison with such works as Fairport Convention's Liege and Leaf and Steel I Spans Hark. The Village Wait. Pentangle is thus often described as one of the progenitors of electric folk. In their final two albums, Pentangle returned to their folk jazz roots, but by then the predominant musical taste had moved to electric folk rock. Colin Harper commented that Pentangle's increasingly fragile music was on borrowed time and everyone knew it. Awards, in January 2007, the five original members of Pentangle were presented with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the BBC Radio 2 Folk Awards by David Attenborough. Producer John Leonard said Pentangle were one of the most influential groups of the late 20th century and it would be wrong for the awards not to recognize what an impact they had on the music scene. Pentangle played together for the event, for the first time in over 20 years. Their performance was broadcast on BBC Radio 2 on Wednesday 7 February 2007. Members Discography Equals Albums Equals Equals Singles Equals
Travel in Song slash Mirage GBS Big TB1 G109, Let No Man Steal Your Time slash Way Behind the Sun Reprise 0784, Once I Had a Sweetheart slash I Saw an Angel Transatlantic BIG124 UK number 46, Light Flight slash Cold Mountain Transatlantic BIG128 UK number 43. Light Flight Slash Cold Mountain UK No. 45 A Euro Re-Entry, Play the Game Slash Saturday Movie UK Making Waves Surf 107, Set Me Free Slash Come to Me Easy UK Making Wave Surf 121 Equals Compilations Equals, This is Pentangle, History Book, Pentangling, The Pentangle Collection, Anthology, At Their Best, Essential Vol 1, Essential Vol 2, Collection a maid that's deep in love, early classics, anniversary, people on the highway, 1968 a Euro 1971 light flight, the pentangle family, light flight, the anthology, pentangling, the collection, the time has come, equals DVDs equals, pentangle, captured live, Jackie McShee, pentangle in concert, folk rock legends, references, external links, Jackie's official website, the Danny Thompson official website, Terry's official website, Park, Talking Elephant Pentangle page, Ultimate Music Database, Music That Means Something, Pentangle at All Music.